Hello everyone, I'm Valerie Tremblay. I'm the director of the Center for Student Media here at SUNY New Paltz. I'm an on-air personality at Cumulus Media of Springfield, approaching 13 years of working for Cumulus. I'm a two-time New Paltz alum, and I'm here to talk to you about my journey in the field of media, specifically radio, and how it's brought my career kind of full circle. In 2001, I came to SUNY New Paltz as an undergraduate student, not quite knowing what I wanted to do, but knowing that communication Maybe audio was really the thing for me. I was always big into concerts, and at a concert I would sit and watch the audio engineer work the board and, and knew that that was always an interest but didn't know if that would be my career. I had a dream of being the PA announcer for the New York Yankees, but that was kind of a far-fetched dream. But I was determined to figure out something in between. I, cleared, I declared radio television production early on during my time at SUNY New Paltz. I loved the production classes. I spent all my time sitting in the studio and working behind the engineering board. I got involved with the campus radio station as an intern for a show, and then really got the bug so much that I decided to get FM certified, get my own radio show. And even when I wasn't on the air or wasn't engineering a show, I spent a great deal of time on the fourth floor at the WFNP radio station. During my senior year at SUNY New Paltz, as time for an internship approached, I wondered what would I do and how would I find something that would prepare me for a career in the field of media, and specifically radio. I put a bunch of applications out there. I did a bunch of interviews. I ended up accepting an internship with a television show in New York City, and after one day decided TV was definitely not for me. I returned to campus after my interview and ended up getting a call to interview for Cumulus Broadcasting in Poughkeepsie and scheduled an interview soon after walking down the hallway and seeing the people that I had listened to and I had you know, loved my entire life. And it was really overwhelming and I felt if I get this internship, this will be the place for me. I ended up getting offered a nine credit internship which would require me to be there five days a week during my senior year of college. I ended up being a shift leader due to my experiences in leadership that I brought with me from New Paltz to Cumulus. Um, and that left me in a unique position, supervising kind of my peers in an internship, but it turned out to be worth it. On my first day on my internship, they gave us the task of van hits, which was bringing a promotion vehicle out on the street and interacting with listeners and getting them to sign up for our loyal listener club or for a promotion concert tickets t-shirts. Um, and that ended up being the majority of our internship. And we, as an intern cohort, decided, you know, this is not really what we had envisioned. And we took a risk and we spoke up to our internship coordinator and said, you know, we really want to get some experience in the studio and with the equipment um, and not just be out interacting with listeners. We ended up, you know, getting our wishes granted and we were permitted to produce the morning show. Um, so we were working with a huge morning show for WPDH in Poughkeepsie and getting our voices on commercials and using the equipment we had learned about in the classroom actually in the industry. So as May approached in my senior year, I had grad school on the table. I had some full-time jobs not in media and I decided to forego everything, really shocked my parents and my family and friends and said, you know what, I'm going to stick with Cumulus. I graduated on a Sunday and on Monday I began as a part-time promotions assistant, going out and setting up for events and engineering live broadcasts and working the live broadcast equipment and was determined to get on the air. So I did my time as a promotions assistant and then convinced one of the program directors, Andrew Boris, who's still on the air, to give me a chance as an intern turned promotions assistant to be on the air. So he let me do an overnight demo on WRV, and I remember my very first break was scripted out to the T. I wrote every single word down. Um, but by hour five or six, you know, I was getting the hang of it. I wasn't writing anything down. I was more comfortable on the air. I was comfortable with myself and really ready to prove myself. He arrived that morning to do his morning show and said to me, you know what, you did all right and we'll give you a show. So I worked to learn how to operate the board by myself and prepare for my first shift and ended up being on the air with WRV for quite some time. During that time, I was also a New York Yankees board operator, which required me to communicate with Yankees broadcast operations out of the Bronx and talk back and forth with them, which for me, who wanted to work for the Yankees, this was huge. Um, I worked for RV for quite some time, was working on a country station. I was filling in mornings on PDH when they needed stuff, and it was really solidifying for me that media and radio and being on the air was the thing for me. So I was doing my time. I was also working full-time at a local university because radio doesn't pay. 
and decided to take a risk, take a chance, and apply for a full-time radio job. I was 22 years old and in April of 2006 got my first full-time radio show doing evenings 7 to midnight. Uh, country was not my thing, nights were not my thing, the pay was certainly not good. I had to move home in order to, you know, balance taking this job. And six months to the day later, I ended up losing my job due to budget cuts. I questioned whether radio was for me, I questioned what did I do wrong, um, was it something I did or said, you know, you're a performer essentially on the air, but it wasn't. It was just the budget at the time, and I watched myself go, my friends come and go. Radio is not really a stable industry, so it was a lot for me to handle. Um, I didn't want to leave the field. They offered me part-time employment there, but I was angry at them, so I put it off for about a week or so and then ended up going back on the air. I ended up on the station that I really wanted to be on, which was Mix 97.7, and stayed there for quite some time through graduate school. Um, and through a move to Connecticut where I took on another position and ended up finding another Cumulus station where my contacts in Poughkeepsie were able to get me a job out in Springfield, Massachusetts. I've been there for almost six years in Springfield and still, even though I live in New York now, commute to do my show or send my voice recording tracks down there so they can still air me so I'm still a part of it. In that time, I was working at different institutions and doing different radio jobs, and recently in November saw a posting for a position open at SUNY New Paltz for the director of the Center for Student Media. First, I was worried that my mentor, who held that position for so long, what was wrong with him, but I found out he was getting a promotion and decided to put my name in for the position. A uh, really nerve-wracking process, thinking this is it, combining my passion for working with students and my passion for working with media, and I was able, through a very, very long process, to land the job. Two months later, I stand here before you in a classroom that I once stood in as a student, uh, in front of a camera that I once operated as a student here, and sitting at the desk of somebody who was a mentor to me, um, a role model and idol, and now learning from him and able to mentor students the way that he did for me. Uh, the field of media is not one that you can ever prepare yourself for. It is inconsistent. It is come and go. It is up and down. But it is something, if you've got it and you've got the bug, then it's for you. You need to be flexible, you need to learn you know, how to pay your dues and do your time and go with the flow. And if you do, you may end up in a position like me giving back to the community that has given me so much.